all right it is april 3rd today it's wednesday and a little bit of an update on shoestring coming a little bit of a red sky this morning as i'm approaching freight train yard and we have storm clouds moving in i feel to see off there in the distance the very black clouds it's going to get really cold and snow level is going to come down and we're going to get some foul weather for the next couple of days or four days pretty black off in that direction looking towards the depot or the train station down there um, I don't see any locomotives whatsoever I don't see anybody around either you got some nice high clouds and a little bit of a red sky yeah, why don't we just kind of walk on down this way okay I started walking down that way and right on the other side of that stack of rails there there's somebody camping can't see him from here but they're just right there so I try to avoid the camping people as much as I can because you never know if you're gonna what you're walking into so I'm not gonna stay here very long anyway I don't see any engines down there and I don't hear nothing we'll walk out here on the main line and I'll look down there but I don't think anything's gonna be happening so the last update on shoestring that I heard was um, yesterday, late yesterday evening, just before I went to bed. And um, I'm just kind of paying attention to two different YouTubers. Uh, one is Rail, Southern Rail Fan. He seems to, you know, to be really involved in this. He's a friend of Shoestrings, knows him personally. And um, he's trying to organize something for this weekend where they actually go to the location of his apartment and just start searching there and then going out from there. Because he believes, and it sounds very logical to me, that um, perhaps Shoestring is did not wander very far away from his his apartment there on the lake there in um, Johnson City I think that's a good possibility um, I don't think he would have tried to he would have went to go catching out on a freight somewhere without all of his stuff all of his stuff is apparently back there at his apartment so I don't think he would do that I don't know him really but you kind of get used to the way people operate you know when you watch their videos I've watched lots of his videos and um, I just don't think he would have done that so I think that's a smart move I forget his name but he seems like a, a pretty good guy and he wants to get this thing organized to where he gets a bunch of people and they just really start searching just right around the apartment and then going from there and I'm really hoping that uh, Shoestring is found safe and secure and we get him back home he's uh, he's a real good youtuber he's a real good guy very popular very likable very likable guy and um, I just hope and pray that he's gonna be found safe and we get him back home I'm crossing over this old derelict of a siding that hasn't seen life maybe as long as I've been born. It doesn't go anywhere. It goes down there quite a ways and then just vanishes into a big field where apparently some kind of business was. Here's the secondary main. It doesn't appear to get used. And over here to the the main with various pieces of garbage and all the rest looking down there I don't see anything hopefully the GoPro can see how black the sky is off there in the distance yeah temperatures are really supposed to drop today 
So I'm not going to hang out anymore. I see that camping person is still right over there. I wish them the best of luck. And I'm going to start heading back. And we're going to take a little detour on the way back home. Because yesterday afternoon, pretty late, I was just getting my dinner going. And I kept hearing all these sirens. And you can kind of tell the difference between police ambulance and fire. And I could tell this was fire. And I could hear them. They were getting a little closer. So I naturally just stuck my head out the front door. And lo and behold, what do I see? Got captured a little bit of video of the big black plume of smoke. Not very far from my house at all. And uh, so I... You know, went ahead and grabbed, put my shoes on, and grabbed my keys and everything, and I kind of headed off that direction, but they had it all blocked off, and you couldn't get very close, but I know which house it was, so I'm going to take a little bit of a detour on my way home, and we'll go take, uh, see how close we can get to that place, and just see, uh, see what's left of it. All right, finally getting over here where the house is at I'm more than a block away still getting a little bit of winded keeping up a good walking pace man I can sure smell the the burnt char the you know the burnt wood and everything <sighs> must have burned pretty good it's gonna be up here at this next block and here it is right there and they have already gotten it all boarded up and that was a somebody's residence in fact i even saw a little bit of a report on the news this morning when i got up that a person of interest has been detained or arrested I guess it's more like detained I think but it's boy this thing really put out some smoke and it looks like just one house and there's a tarp there that got melted all right well I'm sure it's a it's a pretty old house so I'm sure it's gonna come down all right we'll head for home